Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Damriel. Welcome to Danganronpa. Trigger Happy Havoku finally back. You may not have noticed, uh, and I probably did a decent job of making sure that the videos are properly uploading on the channel, but maybe if you follow me on Twitter, you may or may not have noticed uh, that I've been stressing out over the finals, because I don't know what it is, but this semester was really, really hectic. Anyway, finals are over. I'm finally back. It is... 1 a.m. in the middle of the night on a Thursday, and you know what? I'm gonna take my time recording a lot of games. I'm probably recording throughout the night and just playing games because I literally have not touched games whatsoever for like a week and a half. Like none whatsoever, pretty much. Anyway, let's go ahead and get. <laughs> yeah, wow, already messing up as soon as I sit down to record. My bad. Let's go ahead and get back to Dang and Ropa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last episode, if I can recall correctly, Monokuma tried to give us a motivation to kill somebody, and somebody did get hurt. Now we're gonna try to walk around and see what happened. Apparently there was a victim in this recent murder, and we're gonna see what's going on. So for now, uh, let's check this main room here, the dining hall. Looks like there's nothing going on in a dining hall right now. Let's check in here real quick. See if maybe there's something in the kitchen. We're trying to look for the body right now. We're trying to see what's going on here. The knives, so some missing. Ooh, what else we got up here? Oh, can we check the knives again? The one specific knife is still missing. Saka took one of the knives that was here. And then she... Yep, I guess then I'm never gonna replace the knives. Whoa, did it zoom in here a little bit? I feel like it zoomed in a bit. Uh, am I missing anything here? Hello. It's the same deli style display case. The stuff inside looks pretty high quality, but who are they trying to show it off to here? Probably to us. Hey, we got a Monokuma coin. Apparently, I looked up online and there's literally nothing to do with Monokuma coins. You just use them for gifts and social events, but the annoying part is only specific gifts can be to specific people, so you gotta be very, very meticulous and detailed over who to give it to and stuff. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. What, why does there need to be one in a kitchen? Probably just to alert whoever's in the kitchen. Check the fruits and vegetables. There's a bunch of vegetables all piled up. They look like they're crushing each other. I'm surprised they're not all bruised. Well, I mean, the kitchen is stocked nicely. So I guess Monokuma does provide for the tenants of the place, which is, I guess, good. The reason I'm saying, I guess, is because it's kind of a grim thing that, you know, everything is happening. Let's see if, he, if Aoi knows what happened and where the body is at. So, um... I knocked on all the doors, but nobody answered. Did they all go to see what happened? Oh, then what about the second floor of the school? That's the place that's new to all of us, so it seems like the natural place for... Yeah, you might be right, that might be the natural place for it. Although I do want to check the storage here, I feel like we might, I don't know, maybe find something in the storage. The reason I'm saying that is because Chihiro did exit from here at a certain point, maybe she's hiding something. One, two, three, four, five. No, looks like I checked everything here, no, there's not much to check. See, okay, look, I'm not saying Chihiro might have done this murder, but I'm being suspicious of everybody. Everybody is a suspect right now until they are proven not guilty. Are we missing somebody? Missing Sayaka. We probably could swing by and talk to her, but let's go check out the second floor. And I think in between I'll end up spending some Monokuma coins on gifts and maybe looking up a guide to see what gifts best match people just in case. Because I want to make sure we have, you know, good relationships set up here before, you know, everybody dies. Because, I mean, we're down to 12 people. Possibly 11 now. So, anything could happen. Let's talk to Yasuhiro. See what he says. Yo! Hey, Makoto! Honestly, what do you think? Huh? About what? For serious. About Byakuya. You think he's being brainwashed or what? I, I don't know. You know more about that kind of thing than me, right? Huh? What? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you are some kind of psychic, right? Hey. Listen, Makoto. I think you've completely misunderstood what it is I do. <clears throat> I'm trying to get the voices back, sorry. If I sound completely um off, my bad. Trying to get back in the group of things. <clears throat> okay, listen. Fortune telling is like... Well? It's totally different from brainwashing hyp hypnosis or any of that pseudoscientific bullcrap. <sighs> I need you to understand that. So you expect me to think fortune telling isn't pseudoscience? Sorry, but I don't want to get yelled at. 
Yeah, I mean, let's not let's not get an argument about pseudoscience or whatever. <laughs> Just in case, check here. Apparently, there's a sprint button that I never use. Somebody to, uh, ultimate told me about it. what is the sprint button again. Okay, this just strays me. Okay, no. Okay, B is a sprint button. Gotcha. Alright, well that's gonna make traveling a lot easier. Now we can sprint, finally. <laughs> I've been playing this game for so long, I didn't even know there was a sprint button. Um, maybe we can check the guys room just in case. So it's gonna be somewhere up here. I'm guessing maybe it could be the library. Something's over here. What is that? This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. Well, you know, just had to check just in case. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. Also, let me turn down the speakers a bit. It's a little too loud on my end. Alright. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe check this room first. I should probably be using the map for this. Anything here? Baby sleeping, please be quiet. No, looks like there's nothing much here. Nope. Alright, getting back up in the main hallway of the second floor. Alright, so we are right here. Right here is going to be the stairs to the third floor, which we cannot access yet. There are a couple places we can check out. There is the pool, which might be the best place to check out right now. Then there is another classroom across all the way to the other side of the floor. Then there's a library and the office for the library, which I think was closed. Let's check in here first. Let's see if maybe something happened to the pool or something. And there's a big turret. Alright, let's use the uh, boys' side. If we can. Huh? The door's open. But aren't those supposed to be locked? Oh god. Oh. Already night time? Wow. That was. That didn't take long. For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. Investigation? It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Byakya! I see. Judging from what he has said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. Come on! <laughs> In the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. He was muttering as if talking on to himself. Without waiting for reply, he pressed his hand against the doors, the girl's locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. Who got killed? In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Oh, wow! No, mm -mm. oh, what the hell? Why? What did she do? She didn't do anything. What? Okay, what? Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Um, so Chihiro is dead. Honestly, I feel really bad for a whole who the hell did it who the hell did it you know what i'm a little bit pissed i'm a little i gotta say i'm so invested in the game so far that i feel so many emotions coming out right now part of it is a little bit anger written bloodlust over there did they hang her or did they what did they do did they sh wait, wait no, no 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 hold on we gotta we're gonna have to investigate this and see exactly what happened but somebody clearly did this on purpose and clearly had a motive because they even wrote bloodlust on a freaking wall. You don't write bloodlust on a freaking wall if or you don't par parade the victim in such a manner if you don't want to make a spectacle out of it. So clearly somebody decided, you know what, I'm a Kilchi hero and I'll make sure that everybody knows that she's really dead and somebody really want to kill her. Holy shit. Whew. Wow, I actually feel kind of bad. She didn't even do anything. She was like one of the innocent ones that I thought would actually, you know, would would could never do something like this. But clearly, someone's secret. See, the motive. Okay, to explain a little bit further. In last episode, if you haven't watched this, the motive 
uh, the motive was a secret will be revealed from everybody, a very secret, a very private secret that, you know, will be embarrassing within 24 hours unless somebody would be killed. Clearly somebody wanted for it to be, you know, for it to be killed so that their secret would not be revealed. Now we need to figure out what the hell happened. <clears throat> okay, getting back to the novel. <laughs> or I guess it's a visual novel. What? I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. It took me instantly. <laughs> but as soon as I did... A wild, almost primeval, uh, primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Yeah, Chihiro's dead. Deadly life, alright. Chapter 2, Deadly Life. Day life turned into deadly life. I tried to sus suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me, like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Byakyo, on the other hand. Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm. Almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. I see. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. By ropes, I guess. And something's being written on the wall in blood. Bloodless? Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. They killed her. How could it not be brutal? Hmm. No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for every day amateur to have committed it. You know what? He is onto something, and I kind of like what he's thinking right here. I don't particularly like Byakuya for his personality, <clears throat> but he's intelligent. And he is noticed. He even noticed the same thing that this is stupid. Like he said, too bizarre for any everyday amateur or everyday murder. Unlike with Sayaka, the murder was not a com it was not a crime of passion and necessity. <laughs> it's almost it's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling too, confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head. What the heck? Hey, I heard s <clears throat> hold on. Hey, I heard screaming. Did something? <laughs> yeah, I I everybody's gonna get that reaction. Oh god, Marakuma, what do you want? Ooh, Jesus. A body has been discovered! Really now? After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for finding clues and the class trial, which is also going to be pretty intense. What the hell was that? What? Ah, that's right. You were unconscious, you and Saika, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovered announcement. Apparently, when three more people discover a body, an announcement place to let everyone know. I imagine it so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? With the body discovery announcement that you hear really is Naturally. dead, yes. D -d 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 Before you start screaming your head off, go around everyone up. It seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to unlock it. Uh, <laughs> another life or death game to uncover a killer. I like Byakuya's thinking, and I like he how he's able to be analytical about it. I do think it's a little morally messed up that he thinks of it as a game, but at least he understands the rules. So that's really good, actually. The fact that he's attuned to it and immediately knows how to, to how to adjust, just like Celeste, he adapted. Taka bolted out of the locker room, and everyone made their way to the scene. It felt as if no time at all passed. It was like my sense of time is just taking wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear and anger. We all just stood there, gathered round Chihiro's body. Damn. Damn, I couldn't keep her safe. God, she looks scary. Oh God, he looks... <laughs> Quit... Oh wait, calm, oh, calm down, Taka. So there's another victim, which means we're now in the same position once again. Fuck, man. What the? What the fuck is this? What? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. 
Shut up. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is I want to go ahead and put out the facts here before we even continue the investigation whatsoever. Since only girls were able to enter the girls' locker room and nobody could have each other's passes, like guys could take a girl's pass and go in, it had to be a female uh, student, a female, I guess, ultimate, to kill Chihiro. So now we have to consider every single girl that's here in, you know, in this building and all the clues that are going to be present. Okay, so... First of all, I kind of want to uh, see if maybe we can have a talk with everybody else first. Can we do that? No, looks like... Looks like we can't really talk to anybody. We can talk to Byakuya. No, we can't talk to anybody. Okay, what about the camera? A surveillance camera. The mastermind must have been watching as Jahir was killed. They know what happened, and they're still forcing us to go through the, with this. Well, it is kind of messed up, but they kind of have to. Okay, so what do we got here? We got the main room. Oh! Okay, so that's gonna be the door to the other room, okay. Uh, let's first start with the dumbbell here. No, there are more important things to worry about right now than a dumbbell. Are you kidding me? It has blood on it! It could have been used as a possible weapon. Or maybe it just had blo it has blood on it. What about the blood over here? Is this Chihiro's blood? No, there are more important things to worry about right now than this. It's a piece of investigation, what do you mean? Let's we got blood over here. Hey. Wait, look at the wall. Are these letters on the wall? Hey. Wait, look at the wall. Are these letters on the wall? Oh. Oh, oh, they, they have letters. Yeah, I see, I see them. That's, I guess we could investigate those. The word bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. So... I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. But you know, the things about writing bloodlust and blood, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? <coughs> a murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. And at the scene of each crime, the word bloodlust is written in a victim's own blood. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly and then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give this mysterious serial killer? What? What? Genocide Jack? Genocide Jack, the murderous fiend whose grisly attacks were famous all across the country. Yeah, we read up about Genocide Jack in the beginning of the uh, the game. The ultimate murderous fiend, creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings. What is this? Wait! If that's the ultimate... Ladies and gentlemen, I think one of the ultimates in the school is the ultimate serial killer. And the only other one that I may think, and the only one I can consider ever possibly being even close to, you know, who, who it could be. Actually, I, I, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? Oh, maybe that. You know what? I haven't even thought about it. You know, thank you, Aoi. But why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. The real? Wait, are you saying Genocide Jack is here in the school? Could no be. Way. There's no way. Mm. But going so far as to write bloodlust at the scene, I'm surprised at their stupidity. Well. I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Uh. Hey. What is. Oh, hey, hold on. What is it now? Toko. Hina was pointing towards the entrance to the girls' locker room. Oh! Hi, Toko. Toko was last to arrive, and as she was standing there. No. Why? 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 Oh, Jesus, she's freaking out. Kadunk. She fainted. That did not sound good. Toko! Hino rushed over to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her awake. Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up! Oh, um... Oh, that's right. I remember what she said about how she faints every time she sees blood. Oh yeah, yeah, she did... Oh, she does faint when she sees blood. Oh! So she's a... He, uh... So she... So she is hemophobic? I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. Uh, um... This isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. 
No, I think you'll be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like on purpose. Hmm. Ah, so now she didn't faint on purpose. It doesn't count. Gotcha. Just a second. Toko, can you hear me? Hey, 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 you gotta wake up. As if she had, as if she had heard her. Toko suddenly shot awake. As in, she really jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction. It was a total loss of words. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. What the hell? In no time flat, she was just standing up. What the hell? Ignoring the physical contor contortions she had to go through, her motions were totally haphazard. Huh? huh? What? S sorry about that. I was just so shocked, you know? It, it happens, right? Was that the only one? Toko, are you okay? She does look okay. She looks nothing. Oh, completely not okay. Wait, which which one of the buttons hides? Okay, this is the one. Yeah, she does not look okay whatsoever. I, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Whoa, who's a dead body? Hey, are you dead? What the hell's going on? What Did you snap? Heck? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. <laughs> the world has a front and front and back, a top left. The world has a front and back, a top, inning, and a bottom, a sea of truth, and a web of lies. Well, this is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, 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 everything is fine. At least the stutter's all gone. Really? That's a good thing, right? God, I, I don't like her laughter. That's so I weird. See. It's good to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vac vacant. Mm. It might be best if you take her back to her room for the time being. Did she hit her head too hard? <laughs> so, um... I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? Mm -hmm. If you need help, I don't mind. Um... Taka, could you help me? <laughs> she ignored. <laughs> Huh? She totally ignored me. Hmm. Very well. You take care of the girl, and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume nobody has problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again? Uh, hold on a second. Rushing to an investigation? Hmm. The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. Don't make me repeat myself. There's no question that Shihiro was murdered by someone among us. Hmm. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Of course! Oh wow, and he comes out of nowhere. Right as rain! But don't take it as a bad thing, it is the fact of life. Because... Yahoo! That's how graduation works! God, I feel so bad for Chihiro. She shouldn't have had to deal with this. This is so messed up on so many levels. Then, it happened again. Is that what you're saying? That another one of us... Another one of us... Killed. A fellow classmate? What? Does that freak you out? You guys got no boss, you know that? Damn. Is that... is it... Is it just nothing down there at all? Well, I'm let you pray to mine if you want. What the yeah! hell? Actually, I don't have any either. Sorry! Yep, confirm. He has no balls. Stop talking. <laughs> Stop monologuing. Give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? <laughs> I sure did, chum! It's the Monokuma Pie! Allow me to present the next Monokuma file. I know how much you must be looking forward to it. See ya later! So please, do your very tippity-top best in this investigation. No way! Do we really gotta do another investigation? God, look at her. I feel so bad for her. Jesus Christ. Examining the corpse of one of our friends. Having to suspect all, all our other friends. Why? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Oh no! I hate it too. Help me! I I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Hey! What do you plan on going? There's no way to run. Such ignorance. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid, and that body is a simple object. That's a little dark. <laughs> You're very enthusiastic about all of this, are you not? Naturally. How can I not be? If you don't amass the culprit, we all die. That's true, but to jump into it so soon. What? What? What do you want to die? Do you want to die? Such ignorance. Fine. Then go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. You're a waste of space. D Damn you! A dead body is an 
object? I like Mondo, he sticks to morals. Piece of shit! Chihiro wasn't an object! Show a little respect or I'll beat some into you! <laughs> Sorry. Calm down. Everyone stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Byakuya said. Kyoko! Because... If we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are forfeit. And if Byakuya is right, then Genocide Jack is someone... Uh, is somehow the one who killed Chihiro. That's right. Then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. What? Forget my victims. If I mess us up, we're all dead meat. Hey! Hey! Hold on, hold on! This if that's what you worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. If any other killing game if any other if anyone killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? Or in any other killing game. What? I don't remember any rule like that. Actually... I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would be uh, would be all over, right? The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. So then... In that, in that case, why not just limit it to one person? Hey, um... Well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. <laughs> just one would totally murder that possibility. Punishment is waiting for you. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. Hmm. I can't say I understand his thinking, but if he can kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger. <laughs> Interesting. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You son of a bitch! You need to shut the fuck up! So, um... Well, for now, Taka and me are gonna drop Toko off at her room. Nice, I'm gonna get dropped off. I don't even know what kind of voice we can give to Toko now. There is nothing to be done. Because I'm used to her being, you know, shy and everything, so it's kind of difficult to figure out what voice to uh, give her. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation. Top sweet. To sweet? I guess to sweet? Is she French? Maybe. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, is that okay? then we'll quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this. But if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. Investigation has begun, boys and girls. Investigation has begun. First of all, I better check the Monokuma file to see exactly what's going on. The victim was Chihiro Fujisaki. The time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. The body was discovered in a girl's locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what I gotta do, no matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. Monokuma file number two has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hmm. Hey Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? Do you need something from me? Uh, do you need something from me? Naturally. Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, you know. Um, so, what do you need? I'm going to let you cooperate with me during my investigation. Huh? Wait, we are now tag along with him? What? I'm purchasing your talent. The same talent which allowed you to solve Saika's case. Solve? No, I just... Stop talking. You seem to have some limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have to honor the... Of con you have the honor of contributing to my investigation. Oh man, such an honor. <laughs> so, you're inviting me to come with you? You... Doing in the most <laughs> You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, though. Let's go. Now then, shall we get started? But we need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't really know what just happened, but it looks like I'll be working with Biakio on this one. You know what? I'll be cool with that. Working Biakio, working with Biakio, with the analytic mind that he has, and on the same for the rules that he has so far, it might be the best pair up right now, honestly. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Rio. Welcome to the Hello, what have you got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts are the treasure of the I kind of want to say you could dress better. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 